We're getting into game number one here. Winner's semis, I believe, will probably be starting on PS2. I don't think we see at all any Kalos if that's on the stage list. I forgot to double check. Uh, actually, no, we're actually going to start off on FD, which is pretty interesting. But then again, you know, Falcon <laughs> Nixie is not one to ever let you camp on him anyways. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's just like not going to give you that time of day at all. Uh, waiting out all those hits on the shield. Mr. E, though, 100% ready to be able to move around the blocks. Uh, wasn't going to up be a little bit too early, but because, wow, you can get pineapple so easily by Steve. Yeah, Mr. E's so ready that he actually invaded this matchup, but Nick C was definitely doing a great job of dodging it, which I believe what you were going for there. <laughs> but yeah, here's standing up on this first stock. Yeah, you got to give credit to whenever somebody who has like a pretty straight up recovery, right? When it comes to say, say Falcon, it is one of those characters that if you don't have the ability to mix up your options, you're just going to lose the set as the skill level gets higher. So it's very much on them to be able to avoid that. Yeah, and wow, speaking of mix, I mean, we're watching Mix see himself, he's just able to mix up his options in places that you'd never expect. And an excellent ledge trap, though. Really good use of the down smash, just covers, you know, everything that Ugg could have went for in that position. Gets the jab, still finds the multi jab, and now this is an awful position to be in. Does not find the up tilt quite yet. Good spacing from Ugg. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that down air. That down air is so strong. It sets up so many traps, especially if you don't respect it while it's on top of a block because it could just fall from underneath. That down tilt is gonna be annoying too. And I think Awe is trying to establish that down tilt pressure now, not just because it's pretty good there, but he's gonna go, be going for um, one of those TNT trap setups at the ledge pretty soon too, try to get a buffered roll out of uh, Nixie. I really like Nixie's reservation though, just understanding that he can't be pressing up. And I love the way that he is making the most out of Falcon's jump height and these double jumps. So of getting on top of Ugg um, and just like seeing, okay, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna press an up smash? Is he gonna try to cover himself here? And that block actually gonna be protecting him and setting him all the way back up. But wow, it was all for nothing, but I I love the attempt. I thought you it was You ever cute. wanna see, you ever wanna look up the definition of no chill? Just just go look at Nick C on Twitter. He's very much just right there. This man does not believe in backing off because he wants you to understand that he wanted you to show that up throw is a KO option. Oh, uh, finally finds the first KO and what in the, that setup? <laughs> wow. Um, right now, Nixie just able to find the jabs, not able to get anything else right now, just sort of just keeping uh, in the corner, um, where it's just like a lot of his options are just so limited. Odd uh, does not have the time to be able to mine through any resources, like just struggling to be able to get like even any more iron on that. Yeah, oh wow, actually this game, ma this match is starting to slowly change. I like, oh, uh, hasn't really taken too much percent. Uh, he's doing a good job of slowing down the gameplay. He is straight hits away or possibly getting hit by the up tilt at the ledge from getting a KO. But you still have plenty of KO kill power as Steve. So Nixie actually has to respect it because if he loses this stock, he could be one trap away from possibly losing the game. Wow. Um, right now, just uh, taking the time to go for a couple of more resources instead of perpetuating the ledge trap. Um, and finds the F smash out of the minecart. Man, that is just... That, that move is just like monkey flip, except just even better because you can act independently of it and it's a projectile. It, yeah, who decided it's us to approve a projectile command grab? I got issues with that. I may play heavies and grapples the majority, majority of the time, but this ain't fair, especially a as a good character. A projectile command grab that you can follow up on, get spikes out of it, smash attacks. Who sat down and thought that this was a good design decision? And uh, just making the most out of mind color in the corner. That is oh. such a difficult option to challenge and this is anybody's game. Yeah, and now, oh, is that actually gonna KO? It's not gonna do it just yet, but another one of those will take it out. Nixie has to uh, hope that uh, just almost kills himself, but he's actually gonna keep all stuff alive. And this is a position you have to respect too, wow. because that back air is gonna get out of the minecart and immediately take the game. You could see it in stock two that us uh, started to figure it out, and Nixie was not able to finish the deal. I'm actually like a little bit speechless because like Nixie just had the momentum for most of that game. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, I was making really good use of mind code to be able to get back onto the stage. Nixie needs to be able to find ways to not just respect it, right? You know, make sure like to not get hit by it, but to be able to also kind of punish up uh, for it. Uh, because more often than not, as soon as, you know, Steve has two iron getting back onto the stage, um, if you if you start respecting him a little bit too much, you're just gonna keep on coming back to center over and over again. 
Yeah, but making sure you establish dominance on the fact that you don't let them Minecraft, um, like just set up the minecart for free, is so much harder than it, it seems. Because yeah, on paper it's like, oh, I just keep swinging at them as they jump. But if they stay in it and you take a trade, you get hit by the minecart, and that's frustrating. And then all of a sudden you try to delay it, and you get hit by the command grab afterwards. And mm -hmm. I think uh just did so such a good job of recognizing like, wait, if I mix up my timings and I just kind of play with like Nixie's emotions a bit, make it look like I'll move here. Like that setup right there, right? Who in the world thinks that that's gonna be what slides between there and catches you? It's, so, it's a vibe check, you know? It's, it's, it's just something that you always have to be mindful of. You gotta figure out like what Steve is looking for. Sometimes it can look a little bit funky, but I have to say like in a lot of ways, it's like really similar to like how Zeusuit would make the most out of flip kick, right? You're able to yep. sort of avoid the ledge trap entirely um, and get back onto center stage and punish your opponent through the option that they just went for. So you have to either completely respect it, get yourself back on, or find a hard call out. Uh, but Nixie just needs to find that middle ground still. Yeah, like it's it's one of those things that we always say it's like easier said than done, right? Like it's the most optimal option, but it's on your opponent to actually give it to you. And Nixie finding the opening. Wow, there you go, that up smash. I hate catch. that up smash, by the way. I may give a lot of credit to how much I enjoy watching Falcon stuff, but that up smash is it's, you think you can punish it, you think you can't, but it's great KO option if you catch somebody jumping or being a little bit aggressive on landing. Speaking sure. of. <laughs> Um, but wow, like Nixie, like once again, he obtains that early lead and just starts to slowly run away with it. But we've seen Uck come back from these before. I do like the way that Nick is just waiting a little bit and catching some of these mashes from uh, especially as he's landing. I love his patience. What a mix up to get back onto the stage. Tries to go through the up smash to cover the neutral air dodge. Is not able to find it quite yet. But wow, just like forcing onto all of these uncomfortable juggles. Was that ex excuse me? Was that extended by the the the, uh, the anvil? Because that looked like it reached a bit farther than it should. And Nixie had to run. You do not challenge that. Don't challenge that. Yeah, it, it, you can instantly get up off of that up B, and it catches people off guard almost all the time if they drag along the stage. Getting shield poke once again by that down air, and not going for up smash. I, I'm pretty surprised by that. Ooh, I love the way that Nick is making the use out of the pummel grabs there because in a way like forcing your opponent to mash out of that can be slightly tilting. He lands on top of the block, but unfortunately nearly not connecting into nearly two both times, even though he had like the right idea. That was almost textbook. Mm -hmm. And you saw a second ago too, that was another time where I uh, used the ability to go on the center stage with that up B, make it look like you can punish it, and then Nixie got caught. Nixie looking for the near one hit to hopefully find a KO, but these, these down air stalls are so good. They just prevent Nixie from getting grabs, and if he's out of position, any near attempts have also just traded. Iron and Anvil are just really looking like the death of Nick right now. All these timing mix-ups that he's just not ready for, where he would traditionally catch a mash with a stall and just like that. Uh, once again, sitting at a lead, he tries to go for a call out on the minecart, but not getting the right idea of like the velocity or the position of it. Um, like this is difficult. Uh just keeps finding himself out of the corner and yeah, Nick uh, is struggling to find a punish. Yeah, I was pretty much in install mode right now too. If you ever wondered if this character had an Arsene type thing, once Diamond Sword is online, that thing is so strong. So is that Nair on an air to air call out. Good job catching the jump. But another diamond was still in the resources, and now Nixie has to be careful. He needs to <gasps> Oh, that could have been huge if he could recognize where he was going with it. He gets just a high recovery again. Is he gonna look for where Uz gonna go? He tries to trade, but challenges the mine card again and gets pushed away. Yeah, but like who's ready to be able to compensate for like the different knockback angles? Uh, you know, compensating for the opponent's blocks. You know, that is like mm -hmm. such a specific thing. And sometimes honestly, you just kind of get matchup. Um, wow, well, I have to say right now, Nick, so much momentum. This is huge and finds it. That's the Nick C, baby. Wow. Oh my God. I, you love to see it, except for some people have been cooked by that so many times before. It is such a good option to pull out every once in a while. Nick C's been trying so hard to condition uh into that bad air dodge. And finally, when you're at KO oh percent God. against Falcon, especially off stage, you're worried they might just follow you off for something. And yeah. That's the punish on the minecart. We saw him try to come out on it. And that was such a beautiful wait from Nixie, positioned themselves immaculately with the double jump, and then was able to find the knee out of it because uh, picked an option a little bit too quickly. That is one of the most terrifying positions to be in. As soon as a Falcon has started to up air you, you've burned a couple of resources, and you feel like you want to air dodge, you have to fight every instinct to because they are ready. They're waiting for it, and they're ready for it.
Yeah, it's so hard too because like even it, most of the time somebody say, "Hey, just watch your your percent, right? You're not gonna die here." Except for the fact that Nixie is not afraid to keep following you off stage if you decide to go down there and go for a down air attempt or something along the lines of that, or follow you with the you know another attempt at an air because you still had to jump. So it, it's just Nick it's takes a 50, 50 when mid -air. he wants to. Nick, Nick doesn't, you know, he doesn't ask you what you want to lose you stock. He doesn't care about you, Pusat. He'll do you at like 50. He'll down at you whatever he pleases. Like that's, that's what Nick does. Facts. It, it is all about, this is my game to play and you're not allowed to play it with me. Look at that, 68% and you still get fearful of the idea that there might be a KO that happens. And starting things off here on FD once again. Oh my hey, God! This stock is gone! <laughs> what happened? What happened, Ajax? What was that? Yeah, that's that, not even something I've seen before. What? That's that's post game conditioning right there. You just got mixed up by the air dodge in before, so therefore you think you got to do something right away. <laughs> Your stock just gets destroyed off the rip, and that is a great way to start things. But I'm trying to answer right back. Excuse me. Okay, that was like so close to being just as cool and killing off the top, but you gotta have that finish on deck. Wow, Nixie is just like feels unstoppable right now. How do you come back from losing your stock within the first five seconds of the game? What do you I, do? All uh, has to reach down into whatever he got at game one because Nixie had a very confident lead at the start of game one too. Good job recognizing the main punish you could get there was that dash attack. Trying to wait for something else is a bit reckless unless you read, you know, a quick get up with a, a you know, forward smash. He beat it out with a down air. But all uh, has to just just camp <laughs> it's yeah. the best way to put it you have to camp almost he's not he's not being given the space right now nick, nick is smothering him making it so difficult to pull any resources does the classic down bees out of the corner like an excellent catch on us with but wow like like nick is okay was not Camping. really expecting him to go like that Camping not allowed. Get back at home. We're in a pandemic. What you doing outside? <laughs> Honestly, Nick C is doing everything possible to make this game not fun for all uh, as he possibly can. And that's the best way you got to go about it because Steve is one of those characters that just annoys you to death in the way that you have to navigate around him. But what if, hypothetically, I uh, just never had the chance to actually do that? Yeah, like us and being allowed to play right now, Nick is smothering him, gets the He's block extension, doesn't find the two frame. Nick is unstoppable. This is a demon. <laughs> what was that hitbox? I know it was because he was in the animation from the upbeat, but on replay, my man wasn't even close to that down air when he got repositioned up. This character is such a goof, but that is a 2-1 lead for Nick C. Nick is unstoppable. He's a demon. He just finds the stocks in like the most obnoxious way Look possible this. too. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Where what is he? Why speed so... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so we're going into game number three, uh, four here. What do you see? Running it back still to FD. Is there any possible? Oh, actually, no, that was just a replay, so we could relive that. What What do you think, in your mind, that all uh, has to do? I think a change so, of scenery is I to think, play. I think the biggest thing is uh, uh needs to play the game, man. Like, he, he, <laughs> he didn't get to do that. He didn't get to go through blocks. He didn't get to mine anything. He had no resources. He didn't even have space. Nick got in there and smothered him like a pork chop. <laughs> Honestly, all the seasoning in the world. <laughs> Nick C is cooking right now. Nobody wants a plate. Uh, definitely doesn't want one. Right now, we're getting into this next game, sponsored by Wendy's, as I see in the chat. Getting into game number four. I think a change of scenery is the play, but let's see if they run it back to FD. Wow. Well, um, seems like they're actually going to be going to Kalos, Whoa. which... I am extremely surprised by this because Steve, I'm pretty sure if last I checked, it was Steve only pretty 16. much gets iron, uh, the, the stone here in like no wood. So this is actually a really good stage for Steve. Um, wouldn't be able to tell. I don't have those off the top of my head right now, but already like us able to get a bit of space for themselves, making the use like sort of standing under the platforms a little bit and <laughs> finds the spike out of the, oh my God, man. You ever, you ever just get grabbed and spiked? You ever get spiked out of a grab? I, I, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand entirely why this stage is really good for Falcon as well, in every regard. But when you give a purposeful resource that makes every single bit of somebody's toolkit better, it's kind of wild to me that that's what's left off the grant then. Oh my god, I can't even speak. My anger is gone. These matches are so ridiculous. Uh, granted, Nixie, it just doesn't care. <laughs> He's still going to play his game. He's still going to stay in your face. And he just has to get this lead back and get that confidence away from all right now. 
for sure. And confidence is a big part of it. Nick is just able to force his game plan so much. He full hops in, and then you have to guess, is he gonna go for the downer? Is he gonna go for the nearly one? If he hits my shield, is he even gonna be safe or not? And it just keeps you guessing every single time. Uh is looking for one of those air to airs, but not able to find it quite yet. Nick, oh man, that, that poor neutral air. Every time he goes for it, it just never seems to connect. Yeah, these funky looking up tilts just constantly trying to keep uh, Nick C out of the air, keep him grounded, and now he's trying to beat him out. And you can see Uz really slowing the game down a lot now. He's making it a position to actually just try to build in his face. Not the best idea! I'm trying to go for him off stage, but just misses that knee attempt. For sure, and that upbeat not going to be able to take the stock quite yet. Nick's sort of positioning himself on the platform, trying to mix things up a little bit, making a uh, really uncomfortable getting back onto the stage. Not having Iron at the stage is really difficult as well, because that means us for. Hmm. Oh! Good job calling him out right there. I mean, he got a little bit aggressive. He got called by the up smash. That's a stock going to uh but yeah, we've seen it a few times the survivability is good for out uh, here just because the the stage is a bit wider but oh nick c see <gasps> oh you were so lucky you swung i saw there, the nick c was up looking in. for it <laughs> he was like just a couple of frames away from taking that stock just a little bit more frame advantage and he would have been able to do it that back air not going to be able to clean it up quite yet us looking for those two frame down tilts is able to catch nick c on the fade back but wow his angles and maneuvering with that uppy is just so solid yeah, 172 not dying just yet either. Oh my god, don't tear it out in front of Nick C. 95%. You know, all this lead that he's had, he hasn't been able to close him out at 172 until I decided to speak. And that's pretty much what will seal the deal. Nick C hunting for him on the build a bear stage off to the side to see if he could get the KO. Well, he was just he was just like chasing him off on his own domain too. Uh finding his way back on, getting a little bit of juggles here and there, but Nick is just finds a down out, not able to connect the full hit of the knee, only the late hit. Really unfortunate for him. Um wow, he wants it. He wants it so badly and uh just does not have the out of shield pot punishes for it. Yeah, honestly, activate red alert. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> Nixie is trying to go in! <laughs> you have to be careful because Nixie, it seems Nixie has figured out the timing on how to adjust. He's taking 80, he's sure he's taking a lot of damage, but you could see that that up B was a terrible idea, but he gets the grab anyways. <laughs> What's he gonna do? He's looking for the high recovery, but still, minecart is stupid. Yeah, oh, uh, Nick, no punish on that whiff up smash. Was a little bit too afraid to be able to land on top of a, uh, did not want to risk getting hit by that up smash himself. Is this gonna be it? Not quite yet. Uh, missing the follow-up that one is not gonna be able to kill either uh, taking a little bit of time to get resources catches nixie's dash in still not taking it wow. man you know what when you at 146 down this far just go ahead throw side b on someone like that and i was talking earlier about the survivability that all was getting but nixie is actually still in this game because of a few times of kalos assistance and he's still got a chance here even though diamond is there he cannot really take any <laughs> He just took the dash attack. He's still in this game. He just took it in his time. Oh, but that down tilt actually Ooh. falling out of it. Did he SDI in between the hits back onto the stage? Oh, boy. Oh, my oh, God. As soon oh as I God. see that, as soon as I see that rapid boost, but yeah. Okay, okay, finally. Finally finds the back air in the air to take it out. Well, I still feared for the dear life of uh throughout that too because even though nixie was so far behind in percent mm -hmm. it's the same thing as what we saw the zss match earlier versus web mr e came utterly close to losing that last game because of web starting to pull out the cheating uh, factors that time got stopped we're going to game five so that down tilt is actually just like I don't know, I'm kind of losing a little bit of sleep over it right now. How did Nick actually end up getting past that down tilt? I, I, can you SDI in and get past it? Or was it just like ultimate kind of being ultimate with its multi-hits? I'm not 100% sure that, well, it probably is actually that, because multi-hits just suck in this game, but it's one of those things, right, where Nick C, we talked about at the beginning, if you play a character along the lines of Falcon, or somebody who has a hitboxless recovery or something along the lines of that, you are the one who must understand that that's a part of your toolkit. And if you get mm -hmm. the edge guarded all the time, that's on you. You have to find a way around it. And Nick C is one of those people who has learned how to. It's actually extremely impressive seeing him navigate around these traps. It, it, it's like his movement is so intricate. He's able to fade in, fade back, and fade back in before you know it. He always is able to move a little bit more than you'd think he can. He has like such a good understanding of the travel distance of his up B, of how much farther he can push it. And we're seeing like, ah, uh, uncharacteristically, like struggle at the ledge. 
Go. Oh, this could be big damage, but he actually doesn't get to get any other follow-ups. Even though 36% off a throw, you, you'll take that every day. Uh, 50, I like the attempt to try and go for the, uh, the up smash there, but Nick C seeing through it. It seems like Nick C is starting to utilize up, double jump baits more often now, mm -hmm. because U is really quick to pull the trigger the moment he goes above his head. And I have to say, I love the way that Nick has started to mix up the use of side B right now as well, because, you know, the way that, you know, he's hitting some of these blocks, he's able to make some of these safe even on a whiff. Uh, as opposed to just sort of throwing it out all willy-nilly. An excellent catch on some idleness. Right now trying to look at a catch on the landing. Waits out all of those blocks. Not able to find a punisher. Ooh, the, ooh oh buddy. Oh my god. Also, that this music in the background, by the way, is Fire. just like... It, it, this music is just a testament to how goofy this set is. Like, you figure game five, super intense, and then Nick C reads the jump, everything's going explosive, people are going crazy, and then you just hear this passive, like, go work out at the gym music in the back. <laughs> the music choice is like it's it's the perfect compliment while uh not able to find punish on that double jump now back onto the stage uh yo when nick is jumping at you i'd be terrified i'd be you know i'd be, I'd be praying uh, that i hold on to my life that's yeah, such a scary position to be in yeah that, well, uh is only lucky that that minecart is so good because that's one of the few zone breaking options that he has that can actually contest that nair pressure and just the jumps from nixie he's looking for a downer yes he is trying to bait him out to jump at him while he's putting those blocks down and nixie very smart decided to jump away that time uh to get away from the upbeat look at the way that uh is just so comfortable navigating his way back onto the stage i have to say moving around with blocks like that with that much ease and effectiveness is not an easy task at all uh getting a bit of stage control no recovery mix up potential but whipping the punish and there's the up throw grab right there. And, you know, honestly, we're talking about how good Nick C's been at navigating around stuff, right? But you also got to give credit to, uh, like you are saying a second ago, the way that he's been able to utilize those up Bs and also getting a jump call on Nick C right there. Zero percent. It's worth the swing it. And, now, <laughs> you know, honestly, I want this to go to last stock. The way this match has been going, I want this to be as stressful as possible. And that is quite the name for sure. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I can't do this, man. I'm, I'm losing it. I think I think that's that's the nail in the coffin. That's it. That's the one. See, oh, y'all be trying God. to trick us. Y'all be trying to catch us with that stuff. Those see more butt jokes. We've been we've been doing this long enough. We <laughs> we see them coming. Anyways, Nixie gets the down smash, but gets sent the other direction. That's enormous and misses the near one attempt. He's looking for another one. He oh, has to be careful. Like, Nixie, like, knows how to, like, really fish for it in such a way that, like, it makes the opponent really scared of that option. I love these adaptations from, uh, going for a lot more up tilts, uh, within Nixie, uh, but right now just making him second guess himself. Yeah, honestly, the moment you get in somebody's head, especially with the burst power of Nixie, like, that's so huge, but... Oh, he's got the block in place. He's going to look for an option. Tries to go for a down air at the ledge. Doesn't get it. Is he going to try and read a roll get up like he's been doing the last few times? Oh, that should be the lead grab, but wow, no, no punish from Nick. I forgot that Steve can just snap back onto the stage. Tries to go for the jab, jab into Uppy. Nick, you know, just like saying, hey, buddy, maybe, maybe you'll hold shield after the jab. Who knows? This could be it. This could be so bad. Oh, boy. Oh, buddy. Also, twist. What, what's he going to do? Decides to delay. Just hangs out. And there's the fourth, though. A little bit more, another one of those yet. is going to be up there. He gets him with the back and we're not done yet. 102% on Nick C, but we've already seen Nick C steal stocks away so far tonight. He's a back air trade or something away from possibly dying. I'm surprised I didn't go for it. He went for it there, though. He's one full hop up away from just being able to rob this game. And right now, that is going to be the last resource that R uh, has. He has to desperately find more iron, finds two more. So Nick just has to be Ooh. aware of those timing mix-ups. Able to get past the first anvil. Has to be on the lookout for the second one. Oh my goodness. You see, uh, is just making sure he has resources on deck to be able to utilize things like that minecart, which is going to be coming momentarily. There it is. He tries to read him, but he misses the uh, the foreigner. He almost catches him with an smash. I don't know if they're killed, but I'm getting stressed out. What's like, the option? He goes for an upbeat, and he avoids it. How does he move like that? How does he make his character move like that? And just like that, this is doable. This is within the realm of doability. He tries to go for the jump lead. No island. This could be so huge. 
Oh he my god. Smashes, this but he gets it. him the other way. What's the option coverage? He's going to stall, wait him out, and he's probably going to. No, he decides to stay on the same side. And he's going to get grabbed, but he doesn't die just yet. All has to guess correctly on this. But instead, Nick just goes on stage with a rising nail, having no fear whatsoever. This man has a titanium what? sword, but the, ti but the weight is stronger than his pair. That this game is so is goofy. Out. That was so goofy. That was such a goofy setup. But uh, able to take it over Nick C, three to two in a, in a nail biting oh. last dog. What was that setup? He, he put a block down, waited for the block to disappear, and then the anvil just continued to fall through yep. while Nick C was stuck in all of that hit lag. I would love if we could go back to the very beginning of this set when that was one of the first things I pointed out. It's a setup that's so ridiculous because you think you have an opening to punish and I uh, never actually used it up until that point. He held on to that kill mix up to make it look like, oh, you think you have a punish here, but the anvil continues to fall even after the block breaks and Nixie was not prepared for it. And that is how... <laughs> <laughs> the best follow this channel's ever got finds its way back into the replay. What a set! And Nixie going down into yeah. losers and one of the biggest nail biters we've had. Well, I mean, this is this is the most Nixie set we've seen all day. Honestly, you know, like this is this is him with all of his like antics and shenanigans that you'd expect from him. What a I set, man! Wow. Uh, uh falls into that same category. I uh, had me screaming like Toad the entire time. I couldn't keep my head in check. Like I I didn't know. What was going on? I didn't know how, like half the time. It's like, okay, Nick C is in his face He's controlling him and then uh just starts building a wall and he, he couldn't navigate around it There was nothing mm -hmm. he could do the fact that uh was able to play a character that's setup heavy and Deal with the aggressive play that comes from Nixie's captain Falcon is mm -hmm. extremely impressive in its own right